Hello and welcome to the presentation of our results for the WAST Challenge 2018. The interface for the Mini Challenge 2 is built within the JavaFX framework. Our tool visualizes water sampling data for different locations within a wildlife preserve. The left side of the interface shows the different chemicals defaultly ordered by high variances. The selected measures will always update the remaining views. The tool can distinguish and filter by location and river branches. The mosaic view on the right side can show either sample counts or variances. It provides the user with an overview about sampling strategies based on the whole period of time. Sparklines emphasize the development and make similar patterns visible. Tooltips show the counts on demand. The stream graph shows the time on the x-axis and counts on the y-axis. The window on the graph defines the time window for the crystal objects above. These crystal objects visualize the measured values of the chemicals for each location. Since we are interested in methylosmoline, we have a deeper look at the variances this measure holds. Some prominent peak can be found in a mosaic view. Because the chemicals has only been measured starting in 2014, we adjust our time window. The crystal objects update immediately. We can now look at the values of the chemicals. The crystal objects show the values of one chemical in each section with a different color. Each crystal shows values for one location. The gray lines represent the connecting water flows. The black borders are mapped to the global values. The global minimum, the global median and the global maximum of the chemical. The colored range refers to the local minimum the local median and the local maximum. Local means for the specific location in the restricted period of time. The values are shown in a logarithmic scale. In the middle of each crystal different shades of grey inform about the local variances of the value. This can give a hint about the interestingness of the measure. We can now perceive at a glance that the global maximum of methylosmoline and chloridine was measured in COSOM. A further exploration even shows development over time in the crystal objects. In order to do this, we move the second window to the interesting period of time. By clicking on the time window, we select the window and the crystal objects update correspondingly. The crystals are read clockwise. The left side shows the local minimum the local median and the local maximum of the first window and the right side shows the local minimum, the local median and the local maximum of the second time window. We can now perfectly see that Methylosmoline drastically increases for the selected windows in COSUM and SOMCHAIR, whereas it decreases for the remaining locations with one exception in CHAI. Music